Why does a big portion of the NFL media have the Los Angeles Chargers jump from the Las Vegas Raiders and Kansas City Chiefs to win the AFC West this year? Don't the Chiefs deserve respect for winning the AFC West the last six years in a row? Sure, they no longer have receiver Tyree Kill, but they have quarterback Patrick Mahomes and head coach Andy Reid. They went 4-2 and two in six games Hill and missed while with the Chiefs, so they've shown they can figure it out. Didn't the Raiders send them home for the playoffs last year too? Raider quarterback Derek Carr has taken two out of three from Herbert, and the Raiders are the most improved team in the NFL. But somehow a portion of the NFL media has the Raiders finishing last in the AFC West. As far as the Chargers go, they're counting on quarterback Justin Herbert getting so much better in year three, but that's false. That only happens when teams continue to build around their young quarterbacks. But Herbert's offense is already built with Keenan Allen and Mike Williams. Did Dan Marino make a big jump to year three after throwing for over 5,000 yards and 48 touchdowns in year two? No, because like Herbert, he was drafted to a team that was already built on offense with Mark Duper and Mark Clayton. The portion of the NFL media that's overrating the Chargers does so for more than just Herbert though. ESPN, who also has the Chargers winning the AFC West, admitted to overrating some Chargers. Yes, the same media outlet that has the Chargers winning the AFC West has two Chargers in the top five most overrated players in the NFL. Dak Prescott, Christian McCaffrey, and Saquon Barkley are one through three. Meanwhile, there's a portion of the NFL media that has the two Raiders in the top five most underrated players in the NFL. Wow, I guess that's why the Chargers are so highly regarded and the Raiders aren't. Edge rusher Khalil Mack and strong safety Derwin James are number four and number five on the most overrated list according to ESPN's Chris Canty. Mack obviously isn't the dominant player he was with the Raiders in 2016 when he won NFL Defensive Player of the Year. He had a good first year with the Chicago Bears in 2017 with 12 and a half sacks and 73 pressures. But he hasn't been dominant since as that was his last double digit sack season and he hasn't had an 80 pressure season since. James made his way onto this list because he hasn't been the same since he came in and lit the league on fire in 2018 as a rookie. He had a nice little comeback year last year, but he hasn't looked like the generational talent he was supposed to be since his rookie year. I agree with the top three of this list, so I have to call this a solid top five. But if the list went to 10, corner JC Jackson and edge rusher Joey Bosa definitely belong on the list at six and seven. Bosa is good, but I don't see the 15 to 20 sack season superstars get. And Jackson gets charbroiled every time he plays against good receivers. In contrast, we got some underrated Raiders. Everyone in this picture except for Devontae Adams, the best receiver in the NFL, is underrated. The NFL media is predicting Adams' production will dip because of Carr, whom the NFL media always underrates, will be throwing him the ball. I know Carr isn't as good as Aaron Rodgers, the one in the NFL is, but that doesn't mean Adams won't be able to produce with Carr. And I'm not even going to get into what they did together in college. Carr threw for over 4,800 yards last season with receiver Henry Ruggs only playing in five games and tight end Darren Waller missing seven. If Adams' production goes down, it's going to be because there are other guys that can beat man coverage eating while he's getting doubled. 137 p.m. rated Waller, the best receiving tight end in the NFL, third most underrated player last October while edge rusher Chandler Jones, the best pass rusher of his generation, was number one. Pro Football Focus named running back Josh Jacobs the Raiders' most underrated player, and I just want to add slot receiver Hunter Renfro who gets slept on all the time. Now I see why the NFL media has the Chargers so high and the Raiders so low in the AFC West. Some of it is LA love and some of it is flawed logic. Someone please tell me how Justin Herbert's going to get so much better this year without his offense getting any better. And how Joey Bosa, who's a good player, suddenly turns into a superstar. Derwin James been missing since 2018 and don't even get me started on JC Jackson. I'll pull out some film on him trying to cover Stephon Diggs. Meanwhile, they're still disincarded to value Devontae Adams' impact on the Raiders. And while Chandler Jones leads all active players in career sacks, all we keep hearing about is Khalil Mack. Darren Waller and Hunter Renfro can't get no love either, but that's okay. We gonna see week 1-9-11. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.